Hi, my name is John Castro. I'm the general manager of the Stratford Perth Museum. Uh, about a year ago, when Stratford Central Secondary School uh, stopped being a, a high school, uh, we decided that we should do an exhibit. Uh, we did it in conjunction with uh, people from the school board as well as the school itself. Uh, there, there's three high schools in Stratford, or there was Stratford Central, Stratford Northwestern, and Stratford St. Michael. I think the th reason that we chose Stratford Central is because uh, it was the first high school, not only in Stratford, but it was the first high school in Perth County. If we look at this sort of timeline here, the first high school in Stratford, for school in Stratford was 1853, then 1856. Then the, the predecessor of Stratford Central, which was the Stratford Collegiate, opened in 1879. Now it doesn't look much like the school looks today. There was a renovation in 1901. A major renovation took place in 1927. A big addition took place in 1958. And then in 1972, another $1 million renovation of the school. I can talk about that renovation with uh, some personal knowledge. I was in grade nine at Stratford Central when that renovation took place. It took place for a couple of years. About half the school was in portables, but it really transformed the school, it included uh, the new gymnasium. And I think one of the coolest things about that school was uh, it had the new gymnasium, which was built in 1972, but it still had the other gymnasium, which was built in 1928. And you went to those two gymnasiums, and there was such a uh, polar opposites of what expectations were for athletics. Uh, so that, as you walk through that school, it is a bit of a history exhibit of its own as you go parts of the school that are very old and some that are relatively modern. I think one of the things about any school is the people that it produced. And if we talk about uh, some of the noteworthy graduates of Stratford Central, we have people like Tom Patterson who uh, founded the Stratford Festival and really transformed uh, this community in what we know it today. Rose McQueen, who was a suffragette, who was there in the uh, early part of the uh, 20th century, was very involved in voters' rights. She brought a well-known suffragette uh, to Stratford who spoke at a public meeting. And Rose McQueen is widely recognized as one of the people that uh, enabled women to, uh, to vote in Canada and, and move that process along. James Rainey, a well-known uh, short story writer and author, uh, James Rainey uh, wrote a number of books and a number of poems. One of my favorite short stories was called The Bully. And as you read through The Bully, it talked about a student at a school who was bullied at lunchtime and he would go for a walk along a bit of a winding road and he would have his lunch by himself in the cemetery. It wasn't very long before you realized that James Rainey was talking about his experience at Stratford Central as he would walk along T.J. Dolan Drive and then he would have his lunch at Avondale Cemetery. So not only was James Rainey a graduate of Stratford Central, he actually in some ways wrote about the place. Athletics was always a big part of the school, as it is with any high school. Uh, the, the Rams, or the, at one time the Ramblers, very successful sports programs, uh, a number of great coaches. And they produced, that school produced a number of athletes, including people who played in the National Hockey League, like Henry Monteith, and Tim Taylor, and Craig Hartsburg, but also it produced a number of Olympians. Uh, Steve Monteith, Wayne Brightwell, who wrestled, Julia Wilkinson, who became one of the top swimmers in the world. So the school now is transitioning into a, sort of a senior public school, and uh, this exhibit here, uh, one of the reasons we're doing this little video is to save this exhibit, and uh, after this exhibit is down, it's replaced with something else. We've documented this exhibit and we've told a little bit of the story about Stratford Central and we've archived that for history so that people now and in the future can learn about that, the first school in Perth County and the first high school in Stratford. Last spring, 2020, was the last year for Stratford Central Secondary School. And uh, as it was closing, we were contacted by the Avon Maitland District School Board to go through their important artifacts, um, documents, trophies, jerseys, jackets, other memorabilia to see what might be important to save uh, as part of the legacy of Stratford Central. So we spent part of last summer with a number of summer students in the gym of Central going through all these wonderful items. 
Some of the items will remain here at the museum and some of them are in storage with the school board. Um, one of the reasons we decided to host the exhibit here, as well as the fact that we wanted to commemorate the closing of the school, is this particular uh, model of the school when it was renovated in the 1970s. This was already in our collection. Um, really one of the most important pieces that we have from the school. It made a perfect centerpiece for this exhibit, which includes sports jerseys and uh, photographs of uh, dramatic events, all kinds of things like that. I'd like to show you the part of the scoreboard. We would have loved to have, have the entire scoreboard, but it was a massive piece and we were lucky enough to get the ram's head here off the scoreboard. Another really important piece for the museum, and I believe the it will be in the museum's collection, but I'm not certain at this point, is this particular trophy. This is the Bob Patterson Memorial Trophy, and I'm going to have to read the text off it for you. In memory, of Lieutenant Bob Patterson, Perth Regiment, killed in action on December 1944 in Italy and presented to a student of Stratford Collegiate Institute displaying outstanding leadership and sportsmanship. Bob Patterson was Tom Patterson's brother, Tom the founder of the Stratford Festival, and um, while Tom and Bob were both serving in World War um, Tom was mostly in England and Bob was in Italy and sadly very close to the end of the war he was killed in action. So Stratford Central is more than just a school and you know and I think that's not uh, dissimilar to to every community but uh, one of the things I think is really interesting about Stratford Central is first of all the role that it played in two world wars uh, the flats at Central which you know, where the football field used to be uh, became a site for training uh, for, for before people went to war, before the First World War, and then again before the Second World War. This exhibit celebrates, uh, in addition to the sports, which the school is well known for, the other opportunities that students had to participate in at the school. So arts, uh, drama, theater, poetry, writing, etc. Two important artists also attended Stratford Secondary School, or at the time it would have been Stratford Collegiate Institute, Bruce and Bill Stapleton. Um, Bill Stapleton became uh, a very important artist focused on human rights and um, really pro protest movements. Um, his brother, Bruce Stapleton, after graduation, um, shortly, he would have graduated in the, I think, late 1930s, and during World War II, he was hired by the Red Cross to um, create these posters promoting giving blood, supporting the Red Cross, etc. Uh, another musical legacy comes from Stratford Central, the members of the band The Rebels, which includes Richard Manuel, John Till, Ken Kalmuski, um, Doug Rhodes, and Jim Winkler, that all attended Central School. And of course, three of them went on to play with some of the most important bands of the 60s. Uh, the band was formed, Richard Manuel played with them, uh, and John Till with John, Janis Joplin, and Ken Kalmuski with Ian and Sylvia.